custom statuses are used to clearly distinguish markups and communicate the state of issues associated with that markup in a way that's unique to project workflow. Review provides preloaded statuses. But you could create a custom status by going to the settings icon and clicking Manage Status. You could see the existing models on the left side. Uncheck a model to hide that status in the column. To add a new model, select Add and name the status Architect Approval. Click OK. Now add different types of states to your model. Select Add below the States field. The State Properties dialog will appear. Name the first state completed. Entering something in the text field will replace any text in that markup with what you write here. You could assign a color to a state and the markup will change to that color when selected. Change the state to green so you could easily distinguish the completed issues on the drawing. Follow the same steps to create a rejected state, but change the color to red. Click OK. There are other options in this dialog. The arrows can adjust the order in which they appear in the column. Select Rejected and click the up arrow to place it before completed. You may also remove any model or state from the list by selecting it and clicking the red X. Modify any custom status by selecting Modify and change what is needed. You can also make any of these the default status in your column. You could save this custom status to your profile by clicking Save to Profile or Delete from Profile to remove it. Click OK when finished. Back in the Markups list, select a punch key and double click in the Status column to set your custom status. Select Completed and the status is marked with User, Date, and Time. The punch key has changed to green on the drawing. This is an easy way to identify status changes on your drawing.